Alwyn, 91, is not aware her husband Rolf Harris died earlier this month after losing his battle with neck cancer at age 93. Australia's Daily Telegraph has reported how Rolf told his daughter to look after your mum as he spoke with a feeding tube in the days before his death on May 10. I always believed we would go on longer together but, if I go first, promise you'll take good care of your mom," he said. Alwyn is understood to still be living in their £7 million mansion in Bray, Berkshire. She is currently receiving 24-hour nursing care. Before his death, Rolf had celebrated his 65th wedding anniversary with Alwyn, who always stood defiantly by his side alongside their daughter, even after he was jailed in 2014 for abusing young girls between 1968 and 1986. Rolf was jailed for five years for 12 indecent assaults on four underage girls between 1968 and 1986 but Halwan never publicly wavered from supporting her husband. In 2017, while still in jail, the disgraced entertainer was put on trial for a second time, accused of four indecent assaults on three teenage girls. He denied the charges and was found not guilty after the jury failed to agree on a verdict. Don't miss! Rod Stewart left devastated by friend and mentor Tina Turner's tragic death, latest, Stacey Solomon and Joe back to host this morning as fans enjoy watching them, latest, Rolf Harris' final words to daughter through feeding tube just before he died, latest, following the not guilty verdict. His solicitor read a statement on Rolf's behalf in which his client said he wanted to spend his remaining time with his wife. Whilst I am pleased that this is finally over, I feel no sense of victory, just relief. I am 87 years old, my wife is in ill health and we simply want to spend our remaining time together, he said. He was released in May 2017 after spending three years at prison Stafford and Rolf was formally cleared of four unconnected historical sex offences, which he had denied. Later that same year, one of the 12 indecent assault convictions was overturned by the Court of Appeal. Alwyn, a jeweler and sculptor, met Harris at art school, with the pair marrying in 1958. She is known for her taste in eccentric clothing and it was apparently her decision to have a poodle as a bridesmaid. The couple's affection for the dog breed has long continued, with Harris Health said to have taken a turn for the worse after the death of their beloved poodle last year. The couple shares one daughter Bindi, 58, and the family of three arrived at Southwark Crown Court together every day during Harris' first eight-week trial in 2014.